In this video I'll be showing you how to fix graphics issues in Warzone 2 on your Windows computer. So if you're having texture issues, pixelization problems or just things are looking a bit blurry within Warzone 2 then there's a few things that we can do to fix these problems. But before we get started I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do find the video helpful then help us out by subscribing to the channel to see more Call of Duty videos. So the first thing that you want to do is just simply ensure that Windows is up to date. And we can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to settings and then clicking on update and security and then clicking on the check for updates button. If you do have a feature update available then download and install that as well. Like you can see I currently have one available at the moment. So once you've updated Windows the next thing that you want to do is also ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer then you can find it out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. If you then expand display adapters you will then see your graphics card. So I've got a GTX 1660 Super which means I'd need to go to the Nvidia website and download the latest driver for this graphics card. I will pop some links in the description below to our website where we have guides on how you can update an Nvidia, AMD and an Intel graphics card if you're not too sure on how you do this. So now that we've updated Windows and also our graphics card driver the next thing that we want to do is also update DirectX. So DirectX is updated in two ways. It's updated through Windows updates which is why I wanted you to check for Windows updates at the start of the video and we can also manually install the latest updates for DirectX as well. So to do this you need to click on the DirectX link in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select your language and go download. Once the file is downloaded go ahead and run the setup file. You will then see a window that looks like this. We need to click on I accept if you do agree to the terms and then go next and then if you want to install the Bing bar then that's up to you. I don't want to so I'm going to deselect that and then we need to go next again. It will now begin to check to see if it can install a newer version of the DirectX files to your computer. So as you can see I already have the latest version so that's all good. So if DirectX did update on your computer and you also updated Windows and there was also a new driver available for your graphics card now go ahead and try Warzone 2 and see if it resolves some of those graphical issues you've been having with the game. So the next thing that we want to do is clear the DirectX cache and we can do this by opening up the start menu and then typing in disk cleanup. You now need to select disk cleanup and you then need to select your C drive and press OK and you then need to find DirectX shader cache and select this option and deselect everything else and then go OK and then delete files. Once the DirectX shader cache has been removed the next thing that we want to do is also remove the temporary files for your graphics card. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card then there's going to be some old cache files, shader cache files that we can remove. If you have an AMD then we can also do the same for an AMD graphics card. So to start with I will do the AMD graphics card to show you how to do that. So we need to right click on the desktop and you then need to select AMD software. Next you need to click on the settings cog in the top right hand corner. You now need to select graphics at the top and we then need to scroll down and then expand advanced and then scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see reset shader cache. You need to click onto this option and then go OK. So if you're an Nvidia user then we need to open up file explorer. Once you have file explorer open we then need to click in the top and you now need to type in local app data and you need to do the percentage symbol at the start and at the end. Once you type that in you then need to press enter and we now need to find the Nvidia folder. So click anywhere on the list and then press N on your keyboard and you will then see Nvidia. You now need to open up this folder and you then need to go into the DX cache folder and then select anywhere and go control and A and we then need to right click and go delete. You then need to go skip if you do have a warning saying that it can't delete a file that's just because the file is currently in use. Like OBS Studio for me at the moment is currently using that file. You then need to go back and then do the same for the GL cache. We need to just delete everything in that folder. Once you've done that we then need to go back to the app data folder and we then need to go into local and we then need to find Nvidia again. You will then see the Nvidia corporation folder. We need to open this folder 
And if you do have an NV underlying cache folder within this folder, you need to delete the files in that folder as well. So as you can see, I don't currently have that folder, so that's fine. So now that you've cleared the cache for your NVIDIA graphics card or AMD graphics card, go ahead and try Warzone 2 again and see if that helped. If it didn't help, then the next thing that you want to do is turn off G-Sync or FreeSync, depending on what graphics card you have. So I'm an NVIDIA user, which means I would turn off G-Sync. And I can do this by right clicking on the desktop and then going to the NVIDIA control panel. Once you have the NVIDIA control panel open, you need to click on set up G-Sync and you will then see the enable option. You need to just simply untick this option and then press apply. I'm not actually going to do this because I'm currently recording and it might mess up my recording. So once you disable G-Sync, try Warzone and see if that helps. If you're an AMD user, then you can do this simply by right clicking on your desktop and then going to the AMD software. Once open, you now need to select the settings cog and you then need to click onto the display tab. And we now need to simply toggle off the AMD FreeSync option. As you can see, mine now says disabled. Try launching Warsync 2 again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then you can always toggle it back to enable. You now need to open up Warzone as we have a few different settings that we need to change within the game. Alrighty, once you have the game open, you need to select the settings cog in the top right hand corner and we then need to click onto graphics. You will now see a massive list of different graphics settings. So the first option we want to change is the display mode. So as you can see, mine is currently on full screen exclusive. If you click on the drop down, we have a few different options. So the first option that I want you to try is the full screen borderless. Once you've changed it to this, press apply settings at the bottom and then try launching into a game and see if that helped. Also ensure that you do have your display adapter selected. If doing the full screen borderless didn't help, then we then want to change it to full screen, but the exclusive option. You would then see your screen refresh rate. We want to change this. So if you currently have it set to the maximum, like mine currently is on 144 for my monitor, then try lowering it to something else. So I could go with something like 60 or 75 and see how the game runs on that. So once you have played around with the screen refresh rate, see if that also helped fix the blurry and other issues pixelization within the game. If you're using a really low screen refresh rate, then try raising it to the maximum. So the next thing that we want to look at is the display resolution. So you want to use the maximum display resolution that you can. If you're already using the maximum, then it might be a bit too high for the game, causing issues with the graphics. So try lowering it slightly. So once you have lowered it and chosen a different option, so for example, I could try 1280 by 1024. Obviously it's not going to look as good as 1920 by 1080, but if it resolves the graphical issues that I'm having in game, then it's better than having those problems. So try lowering the display resolution or hiring it. So once you've done that, jump into game again and see if that helped. The next thing that you want to keep an eye on is the dynamic resolution. So as you can see, mine is currently off, which is what you want. You do not want this option on. If you do have the option on, then you will want to make sure that this value is set to 100. If it's not set to 100, then you are going to have pixelization issues within game and it's also going to look a bit blurry. So once you've turned off dynamic resolution, go ahead and hop into game again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is change the aspect ratio. So as you can see, mine's on automatic. Just try changing it to a different setting. So you could go with the wide 16 by nine. As you can see on the right hand side, we can see a sample. So you want to basically go with what your monitor is. So if you're using a really wide monitor, then you would use the wide option at the bottom. If you don't have a wide monitor, then you would use the top option. So you, so you will just have to play around with this setting to see what looks best for your monitor. The next options we want to do is turn off VSync for gameplay and also VSync for menus. Once you've done all this, we then want to click on restart shaders optimization. So just click onto this button and then it will restart your shaders in game. Once you have clicked on restart shaders optimization, you do need to close the game down and then open it again for it to take effect. I would recommend that you do this after playing around with the settings in the graphics as well. 
So the next thing that we want to do is head on over to quality. So as you can see, mine is currently on a recommended preset. We actually want this on custom, but it's going to change as we change the settings. So the first option is the upscaling sharpening. So you want to click on this and you want to change this to off. So this can sometimes help, but it can also cause issues. So change it to off. If yours is already on off, then select the option for your graphics card. So I've got an NVIDIA, so I'll choose the NVIDIA image scaling. But like I said, it can cause issues. So I'm actually going to keep that off anyway. So anti-aliasing, this is an option that's going to make the picture look better in game. So you want to actually have this on the bottom option here, the Filmic SMAA, but it can depend on what graphics settings you have set below. So try out the other option as well, if the Filmic one doesn't improve the quality. The next option here, we then have the quality. You want to set this to normal or high, depending on how good your graphics card will depend on what settings you can set. So the higher the option on this one, the better it will look within the game. But you can keep an eye on all your VRAM usage in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, I'm at the halfway mark at the moment, which is absolutely fine. If you get too high up near the maximum, then the game's going to basically run really poorly. You can increase the video memory scale by sliding this up. As you can see there, I've slid it up to 90. That will help a bit. So like I said, this option here we want to set high. If you scroll down more, texture resolution, you want this on normal or high as well, but straight away you can see the VRAM, that's really chumping the VRAM usage up. So we then need to scroll down more, these options are all okay. If you have some of these settings too low, then they can cause issues. So for example, if you have nearby level of detail, if I set that to low, then everything that's pretty close to me won't look very good. So we want the nearby objects set to high, but stuff at a distance doesn't matter so much. But again, it depends on your graphics card on what it can handle. So if we scroll down a bit more. So the next options that we want to look at is terrain memory. You want to have this on max and we then have the on-demand texture streaming. So as you can see, mine is currently on. So if yours is on, then try turning it off so it then uses your local textures only. If it's already off, then try turning it on and see if that helps. If you scroll down a bit more, if you do have this option on, we can change the streaming quality. So you want to make sure this is on normal as well. And you then have a few more options below it, which you can have these on medium, or again, like I said, high, depending on your graphics card. So if we scroll down more, we now have options for motion blur. So I do not like motion blur in games. I think it makes the game look horrible and then obviously it looks a bit blurry. So you want to ensure that wild motion blur is off, weapon motion blur we want off, film grain you want to change this to zero and if you do have an Nvidia graphics card then you can have the reflex on but personally I actually prefer this option off. It can give you a bit of an FPS boost but Sometimes it doesn't, so it's one of those options again where you just got to play around with the setting. We've then got depth of field. You want to also turn this to off. So once you change all those settings, now jump into game and see how the game looks. Just press apply settings at the bottom. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and resolved the graphical issues you were having in Warzone 2. I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that I will do which I will add more methods to if I can think of any. So if you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.